Well, hello, Reject Nation. It's Greg Alba here. And Cat Alvarado. The Cat Alvarado yeah. on social media. Cat Alvarado Comedy on Facebook is here with me today to watch the trailer for I, Tanya. She's helping me catch up on trailers because I was a little ill earlier this week. Yeah. Cat Alvarado, for you guys who are in the East Coast, New York, New Jersey, that area, she's going to be performing comedy out there from November 5th through November 9th. And here are the dates for you guys specifically. November 5th at 6, and November 6th at 6, both at the Eastville Comedy Club. November 7th at 8.30 at the Mockingbird. The Mockingbird. November 8th at 8 at Two Boots, Brooklyn. Boots. They have good pizza. And November, it's New York. And November 9th at 8, uh, the Comedy Cove. Comedy Cove. At Scotty's in Springfield, New Jersey. What? If you're in the East Coast Damn. and you caught this video, save the date, people. Save the date. Anyway, she knows something about Tanya Harding that I don't know, which is, I know nothing about Tanya Harding. I assume she is. Like, she just, like, beat the crap out of some other chick with a baseball bat, and they were competitors in, like, ice skating at the Olympic level. Oh. Yeah, it was So you can relate. Cray. Yeah, yeah, I do that shit all the time. Let's do it. It's not even an ice skater. Yeah. Margot Rubbe. Margot Rubbe. Pervasive language violent. Okay. <laughs> And the haters always say, Tanya, tell the truth. There's no such thing as truth. Everyone has their own truth. Okay. I was the best figure skater in the world. Did she really learn how to do that? Make probably hire a double. Call out a clean skate. Stop talking to her. That girl is your enemy. Jeff was my first date ever. And my mom came. You need to see a wholesome American family. I don't have a wholesome American family. Well, it's never your fault. I was embarrassed for you. My entire life, I've been told I wouldn't amount to anything. And you know what? Maybe I would. Whoa. It's so nice to see Margot Robbie ugly. We also judge on presentation. We're going to need it even the playing field. I know a guy who shouldn't even be saying his name. Derek. <laughs> I never did this. Good fellas of figure skating. What is going on? We're with the FBI. They know something. What can you tell us about Tanya Harding? I don't know a Tony Harding. <laughs> Are you her bodyguard? Oh, that's the Winter Soldier. Okay. When I was a kid, did you ever love me? I made you a champion, knowing you'd hate me for it. That's the sacrifice a mother makes. You cursed me. America. They want someone to love. They want someone to hate. person bashes in their friend's knee. Who would do that to a friend? Stop that. Whoa. That movie I looks insane. I want to watch that. That <laughs> looks badass. That looks insane, man. And I like seeing Margot Robbie look like a person. Like, she's cute, but like, she's Ugly. Normally... Ugly equals person. <laughs> no, she's not ugly. She looks like she a normal look human ugly. being in this, and it makes yeah. me feel better about myself. Yeah, you No. Know? It's hard to live up to Margot Robbie. It is. In every capacity. And I feel like I can attain this version of Margot Robbie. Absolutely. This is like an attainable. Attain... Yeah, this is mm -hmm. an attainable Margot Robbie for the average girl. Yeah, I feel right like here. I have yeah. a chance at yeah. being that pretty. You're prettier than this version of Margot Robbie. Compliments, <laughs> sort of. <laughs> I'm prettier than Margot Robbie at as, her worst. As this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what? You know what? That actually, I'm happy with that. I'm yeah. cool with that. I'm, I'm good because she's gorgeous. It's so. very hard to make Margot Robbie look ugly. She doesn't actually. <laughs> no, she's still cute here. Wait, so I, this, this is crazy to me. Uh, like, so she was this really popular figure skater. What did she do that was like highly illegal? Because like the you FBI know, is getting that, involved in stuff. The only thing I know about is the bashing with the baseball bat. Yeah. Yeah, she had some like crazy criminal activity. If it's the Goodfellas, 
of figure skating. There must be like some high illegal crime stuff she did, right? Well, Is Joe Pesci in this. That's they, what makes it. Yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> <laughs> Home Alone is the Goodfellas of family films. <laughs> yeah, if it's the Goodfellas of anything, it better have Joe it's Pesci. Joe Pesci, Duh. right? Yeah. yeah. I think they're saying Goodfellas because of the style. It's like yes. hyper edited, uh -huh. a lot of the narration, the talking to the camera. Mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of movies do that. American Made did that recently. I get kind of um, a little bit. I don't know if I'm the word is sick of the style, but it's getting kind of repetitive when it's like dealing with drugs and all these things. What fascinates me is it's about a figure skater, which seems all the more intriguing. Yeah, and I really like that we're seeing women portrayed in more ways than just like, oh, here's a girl, she's so nice and pretty and she's yeah. the like the love interest. This is yeah. women being portrayed as like in-depth characters. We're talking about That's them as people now, with yeah. hate, with ambition. Like that mom looks like she's a single mom and she completely probably passes the Bechdel test in all of her scenes. Okay, <laughs> for those of you viewers who don't know what the Bechdel test is, <laughs> it was a test, you could do it on most any movie to see if in a scene two women are talking about something that is not a man. It's really surprising, but up till recently, it was actually very difficult to find scenes like that in movies. Hmm. It's super weird. Try it. With older movies up till just recent, you'll see that you're like, oh my god, that that's weird. It's actually kind of rare. Well, Looking. I, I think most scenes excited. with women should be talking about men. That's just my personal opinion. If we want equality. I'm glad you're back today, Kat. <laughs> well, actually, going off the mom, I've known a couple of figure skaters who are super traumatized by the, it's kind of, it kind of reminds me of like the women I met that have done ballet when they were younger. It's incredibly competitive. They're incredibly strict. It's so fascinating to me how these like beautiful glorified performances are really the ones where you get the parents and the coaches who are just ridiculously Insane. abusive to you, yeah. I, I, especially emotionally. And uh, it's a double negative especially in emotional. I've never been known to be good with my words anyway. You're really gonna see the story of why she turned out to be the way she is. And I feel like there's gonna be that part of me as a viewer that's like, well, I kind of want you to uh, do the wrong thing and yeah, succeed I, there for I a really while. I really relate to that. <laughs> yeah. Because I've always been a competitive person mm -hmm. and it's something that I've had to like control in my mind and like think through like, hey, don't think that right. mean, horrible, evil thought. Think right. a nice thought. And I mean, that's part of being a grown up is you like hear the bad thoughts and yeah. you go, I'm just going to put you just away. Just not a competitive people alone. It's just people in general. But yeah. yeah, yeah. But <laughs> I feel like as a competitive person, maybe it's just a little bit yeah. worse. Oh, so yeah, it's more hiding for sure. <laughs> so awesome. yeah, I want to explore that psychology. Let's learn more about Tanya and to see why I haven't beaten anyone up yet. It's awesome to see trailers with you where you're actually into the trailer. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's a great feeling to have on my end. Woo, he picked well. All right, Reject Nation. Well, thanks for tuning in. You can subscribe to The Real Rejects. Please click that notification bell. I never use this pencil, but I have one in my hand now. Kat Alvarado, all links to her social media in the description box, including her YouTube page. All the list of her performances in New York will be in the description box for you people. You so if you're in the East Coast, make sure to catch her there. And if you're in LA, she performs live out here too. I've, I caught one of her most recent shows. Hilarious. Hilarious. She had the crowd of 10 people <laughs> in stitches, but it was not because it was a small place. It was, just, it was like a Tuesday was, night or something. Huge. It was yeah. Tuesday. Tuesdays yeah. never fill up. Yeah, that's the way it is. That's where you practice. Yeah. She's a good practicer.